I am going to do a final flip through of my rainbow journal that I made using some simple stories, a uh, palette collection, Tim Holtz, and my rainbow collage tags and journaling pages. So if you saw my last video where I was working in the journal, I have all these um, dyed seam binding different colors and ribbons kind of with the tabs of the the uh, tags that I put sideways <laughs> it is a little busy but I think it's pretty fun and throughout I have some tags this one I added a whale tail to there's also different ribbons throughout and ooh, we almost was stuck in there. A little pocket with some embossed vellum. And this is a tag I made during the tag series. And on this one, I just added a sticker from the sticker book and some sticker border right there. And then this is from my new collage kit. And then this one. Uh, after the video, I did some stenciling and I just added some ribbon and then this folds out for a secret journaling compartment. <clears throat> compartment? <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking for? It might not be, I don't know. Another one of the tags that I made. And then here we glued this one in the corner and then I just added another tag. And I like that this is over as a tab. And then we did this one last time. I just added a tag with this fun pom-pom ribbon. I blew all over me and blew. <laughs> and then I made two tiny tags. And I really like the fabric there. Added a Dollar Tree butterfly there. I did some stenciling and then just added some stickers. Thought that was a fun little flippy thing. <laughs> And here is our yellow with the tag. And then we made this together and stuck a piece of a Tim Holtz ephemera in there. This is just a nice journaling area or for pictures. I added some hearts onto my strings. We did this together last time. And then I added some, this isn't true vintage. I bought it on Amazon, I think, but it was already coffee dyed. So I just did some punches and tucked it in. Thought that was perfect. Here's another hidden journaling spot. Added some flowers to that, more of the fabric. Here's that same pom-pom. And this was a cutoff from one of the ends of a tag. So I did the punches and some inking and that tucks under there. More ribbon. And here, my daughter, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but this is super cute. And these are just sitting on my desk. My daughter has been taking flowers from our yard and pressing them and then turning them into stickers and giving them to friends in little envelopes with a note in their locker. Isn't that cute? So here's another one she has on my desk. So she just pressed it. And then on the back, it has parchment paper and then you can peel the parchment off and then it just becomes a little sticker and so I added that really cute great idea <laughs> to uh, my little book there there's the guest check here's another faux vintage ephemera this one I added some lace here is a cluster from my new cluster kit and I added old uh, ledger, a sticker, and then I already made the cluster and I just added it there. Here I added a tag and then I wanted a little bit of texture to this page so I just added some fabric. That one. So 
I'm kind of bummed because I was noticing that my printer didn't print this all too wonderfully, but I still ended up putting it in a journal. I was hoping to maybe list this journal, but now I don't know because of the quality of the print. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Here is another, this is a Tim Holtz one that I corner punched, and this is why my fingers are blue. I took the Tim Holtz die, and he has the coin envelopes, and I did some inking with uh, prize ribbon and stormy sky oxide. And then just put a little washi tape, and then, oh no, please don't be stuck. Oh, I made a collage tag using Tim Holtz ephemera, added some of his fabric, and then this is a piece from his ephemera pack as well. And I just like how that kind of layers up. I think this is a cool page. I think it's one of my favorites. And here we have an inventory tag. Oh no. Woo! There we go. Phew! And again, I added some velvet just for a texture. See, and this one isn't the best print either. Oi, oi, oi. Do the same thing here. Little corner punches. Another just left blank. This would be great for journaling, pictures. This we did together in the last video. I did some stenciling. I talked to this little purple piece of ephemera in. And here's more hearts for this signature. This one we did together. This one we did together. There's a note tag. This is another one of my favorite pages with the buttons and the collage. There's that. And this, the blue page. Another little pocket. And there's the back of the journal. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, so I'm torn. I don't know. I was really thinking I was going to list it, but I'm not sure. Um, hopefully I wasn't off camera. I just realized the angle. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this journal <laughs> in the comments. And what do we want to do next? I'm kind of thinking I have all these journal kits from the planners that I've been making, or I have a steampunk kit that I want to use. So which one? <laughs> one of the flower journals for the monthly planners or steampunk? Steampunk would be fine. Fun because I haven't done it. But anyway, let me know in the comments and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.